goodbye to the reigning Mr. World. Please welcome him as he takes to the stage for the last time, Rohit Kandelwa. Before you say goodbye, tell us some of the highlights of your reign as Mr. World. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I'm incredibly honored to be a part of the Mr. World organization. And uh, it was never about winning Mr. World. I think the journey started after winning, especially with the beauty that Kirk was initiated. That is what you get more Because it is never a competition, it was learning a lot of lessons in life. Especially lessons about uh, helping people to be with the purpose, traveling across to different parts of the country. And just like uh, Father Rocky, I met so many, so many amazing people in my life. And uh, I'd like to wish the contestants all the very best, each and every one of them. All the contestants are so fabulous. I've been on them for a while. And may the best man in the land of the golden heart take the legacy ball. And lastly, I would like to conclude by saying I am always going to be grateful for being Mr. World, for holding this title, for the love and the support that I've seen from each and every one of you. I think I wouldn't have had such beautiful experiences, such memories in my life as much as I've had holding this title of Mr. World. And special thanks to the person, the positive energy over here, Julia Mori. I think there's so much that I've learned from you in this life. And, uh, and that's it, I think this is Mr. World, Rohit Kabilwa, 2016, signing off. Have a great day. All right, Rohit, please keep your final walk. Your question comes from a viewer from China. Okay, 
What do you think is the most important message the world needs to hear right now? The most important message is to try to imagine the best possible superhero you can think of. Even if you can't even think that it's possible for a human to achieve that, imagine that superhero. And that actually happens to be you. And you can do that if you empower yourself to do that. It is actually possible to be that superhero that you can imagine. The Mr. World Press Conference. What was the best thing about the Philippines? Well, you know, the best thing, the best people in the world is the Filipinos here. The I'm so happy because I, all, all this time I was here. And Sir, 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 remember, you're so polite, you're so warm, you make us feel in home because you're so similar to where I came from Mexico. You have the same last name, Don Paimon Gonzalez, Pierre Lopez, Perez. We are, we all are a big family. You know, and uh, now we are this world here with United from 70 to Congress. Thank you. That's a very good question. Uh, he was actually on here just now. I think he embodied the principles that this school strives for. It's, it's more than a pageant, um, it's about unifying people. And I think having spent my time with these phenomenal civilian one gentlemen gentleman who become brothers, I, I get what that means. We, we all come from such different cultures, backgrounds, we all look different. Um, every shape you can find back there, but we all unify. Um, and I think that's, that's the biggest thing about Mr. World, Miss World, and pageants in general. It brings everybody around the world, and it says there's something that can be all of us, and that's what you want to do. So at the end of the day, this organization does that better than any organization. So why I came to it, it's why my heart is so close to it. And to be honest with you, if I could get this mantle, I would grab it and run as fast as I did for that sports challenge. Alright, thank you very much, South Africa. Now the competition has closed. Judges, while you are making your decision, we are going to welcome one of the superstars of the Philippines. Known as the Prince of R&B, performing a Bruno Mars mashup. Please welcome Chris Lawrence. 